Three things you must do on every first date. So here, I'm here in uh, Sydney CBD, as you can see, there's the uh, beautiful harbour, Sydney Harbour Bridge, the Opera House in uh, Circular Quay, beautiful sunny day. I think my camera picks up how blue the sky is. There you go. But anyway, before we kick it off, I'm Dave, and this channel is dedicated to giving you no BS, novel, dating advice for the modern man. Top link in the description, check out my website, uh, and sign up to do some coaching with myself. So these are three basic things, I know, I know it's basic advice, but these are three things that you really should be doing on every first date. It's really important. Let's just get straight into it. One, keep in mind that you can go on what is a first date and you can both agree that it is a first date and it can be verbalized that it is specifically a date right she could know it's a date you obviously know it's a date and then somehow during that date you can become friend zoned uh, she can say I'm not, not exactly sure what I'm looking for these days and you can find yourself being friend zoned quite easily uh, if you make it a little bit too platonic and a little bit too friendly and you don't make it very clear on that date that this is a date you can't just verbalize okay it's a date logically which men often do women are very emotional I think we all know that so therefore they need to be aware that it is a date and you need to keep reinforcing that number one is when you first meet up with her uh, I recommend you going for the hug, maybe even a kiss on the cheek, and then you grab her hand to lead her towards wherever the date location is. Uh, generally, you will be going out for dinner or something like that, that or coffee or something very simple like that. Uh, going in for the hug, holding the hand while walking towards there, what you do is you, you're gauging immediately where her mind is at. And if she's like, okay with the hug which I think most people will be but she won't hold your hand or let you give her even a peck on the cheek then you're aware that she's uncomfortable getting physical with you and there's going to be a lot of trouble later on if you were to try to take her home it's a good little bit of information that you can gauge real early on a date and myself after dating I don't know countless women there has been times where I have gone in for the hug and tried to hold her hand and she the girl has rejected the hand rejected the hug um, there's no physicality at all if I try to touch her lower back just guiding her walking towards the date location she's even palmed me off for doing that as well and I've actually left before the date has gone uh, started at that moment if she's palmed me off and doesn't even want to hold my hand or won't let me hug her and it's like oh, 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 oh. there's something it's not always you you can't always a lot of men they think okay well I'm gonna I need to use this method or strategy to uh, fix this escalate and then I'm gonna fix it no well if she's not going to do even the most basic of things with you how many dates until she warms up to you I don't know it could be a million dates I don't know and it could be just a waste of your time to even getting involved with her maybe she's got some sort of a neuroticism or maybe she's got some childhood trauma or maybe there's some sort of baggage from another relationship and if you're like she won't even let you hold her hand and she doesn't justify it. She just doesn't say, oh, look, it's too early and, you know, a bit later on. And, and she doesn't verbalize and have the communication skills to explain why. Often I would just, I would actually just leave before the date's even begun. Keep in mind, I don't have the obligation 
um, to pay for her date and look after her um, if she's not even interested in me. Uh, have some boundaries and um, get that information early on. That's one. Two, while you're on the date, keep in mind what you're doing uh, on the first day is you are seeding the rest of the date. You're not sitting there on the date just talking about TV shows and sporting things and whatever topics you guys want to talk about. Um, just random topics that don't push or move the date forward. So keep in mind that you should always be uh, seeding what is going to come later on. And what's going to come later on, hopefully for you on the first day, uh, is that you either go back to her place or she comes back to your place. Now, if you are on the date and you are not bringing that up in any way, shape or form, you're not even uh, bringing up information like, are you working tomorrow morning? Uh, are you working tomorrow? Uh, do you need to go home tonight? Uh, do you live with your parents or do you have roommates? Do you share a room? Do you have your own apartment? Trying to figure out whether she lives alone. Uh, and all of that information is very, very valuable. Uh, because, you know, if she's working first thing in the morning and she lives with her parents and she needs to get home at 10 p.m., uh, nothing's going to happen that night. And then you can change your strategy later on. This information is very important and during the date I also recommend basic stuff hygiene if you're eating close your mouth make sure you brush brush your teeth make sure you don't have bright yellow teeth turning up to the day have a haircut uh, have a shave hygiene and uh, just basic civility on the date don't be rude to the, the staff in front of her. Don't be rude to people in front of her. Just basic things that will give off red flags to her. You don't want to be doing that too. Three, you need to start, if she passes all, she passes one and two, you need to start seeding something that you can do back at your place or her place tonight. The classic one is, uh, we'll go back to my place for a drink, uh, we'll watch a movie, uh, these are the classic ones. I'll leave it up to you guys to uh, innovate and uh, speculate in the comments what those things could be. But there's a whole range of things that you could be doing at your place or her place tonight after the date. And you should start talking about those things. What type of drinks do you like? Oh, you like red or white wine? Oh, I've got a bottle of red wine at home. What type of movies do you like? Oh, I've, funnily enough, I've got that movie at home my place we'll watch that after dinner basic stuff like this uh, if you are not getting the information to see if you can even take her home after the date and you are not even bringing up that in conversation towards the end of the date when you're like okay let's go back to my place she's like what i'm working tomorrow or what we didn't even talk about that and then it becomes a shock um, it's something that you guys haven't really talked about it's not even really uh, it's not that smooth at that point doesn't mean that it won't work let's just say you avoid step one and step two and then right at and step three and then right at the very end you're like okay let's go back to my place there still will be a little bit more friction there that there needs to be so that's one two three and final thoughts now let's just you're looking at this thinking, okay, so the first date you're going to try and pull. Yes. Yes. Every full first date you should try to pull. I think you, it's important to understand that um, even if she can't come back to your place on the first date, you've at least made it clear that this is a proper date that could end up in your place at any moment. And she's not going to hold any sort of animosity towards you for that. If you try to force her and pull her back, uh, aggressively then she's gonna have animosity towards you obviously but if you uh, you just okay let's go back to my place and you, you seed it and you're at least trying to lead it back to your place she's not gonna be like oh oh my god first date tried to pull me she's at least going to know 
not to friend zone you because you're not that type of guy, right? And that's what we discussed in the very beginning of this video. So I think this is basic stuff. A lot of the guys that do live coaching with me, we will get numbers out here and we'll get them on dates, on immersion, and we'll run through a far more complex version of this that has a far higher success rate. It's been tested thousands of times by myself and uh, it's a lot more complex than this, but this is just basic stuff for YouTube. So, if you want to learn some cold approach or get some dating advice with myself, I do online coaching anywhere around the world um, and live cold approach coaching in Sydney. See you guys in the next video.